Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I've decided to stop torturing you guys with my bad webcam quality. <laughs> um, I've got lots of people really crying about it in my last video. And um, I've decided to try and get more comfortable around this lens by force. Um, so this video is going to be about skincare and I get lots of questions daily about my skin, my skincare, what I use, uh, what my regimen is and stuff like that. And in my last Ask Me Anything video, lots of people were asking me to do a video on this. Um, I was going to include it into an answers video, but I thought it might just be beneficial to just make one separate video for it, just in case you want to search out uh, at another point in time. Um, so I'm going to start off with a brief history about my skin. Um, I know some of you guys know this already. If you've been watching me right from the beginning, um, you'd know that my first ever video on YouTube was me talking about my skin. I used to suffer from mild acne. Um, I had, I know, it's, some people think, when I tell people in um, like real life, oh yeah, I used to have acne, they're like, no, you didn't. But I did, and um, I suffered from it um, on my cheeks, my forehead, uh, my my chin, and I remember I w it was a really terrible time because I was really insecure about it. And at the time, I tried out so many different products um, on the market. I tried out that Clinique three-step system that made it worse. Um, I tried out so many different things um, in the drugstore, high-end, Dermalogica, everything, and nothing worked for me. So I was advised by one of my family members to actually go seek uh, medical advice and I visited my GP and they prescribed to me this product and it's called Panoxyl. Um, I wish I had like a little box to show you guys but I don't use it anymore. So my doctor assessed my skin and then prescribed to me the Panoxyl 5%. As far as I know, uh, the acne gel. As far as I know there's two types, there's aqua gel and the acne gel and I know there's uh, different strengths. So there's 5%, 10% and 15%. Uh, but then I was prescribed the acne gel in 5%. Now I know that you can actually go to a pharmacy uh, or Boots or a local chemist and you can actually ask for this product because they can sell it to you over the counter. And it's not expensive at all, it's about £3. And that product really, really helped me. Um, at the time there wasn't any information online about the product and I remember thinking how am I going to do this? I'm suffering with so many different things on my face um, But then I got through it and that product saved me. I'm telling you the truth And um, when I started using it my skin got dry and flaky and It was really really uncomfortable for me. I didn't want to go out of the house um, I just stayed at home and lucky for me. I used it dur during the summer holidays. So it cleared my skin up and um when you do start using it, you're going to feel like your skin is about to fall off, like crack off and all that stuff. But then after a while, it just really clears up everything. Um, so yeah, that's my brief history on acne. Um, the products I'm using now are slightly different to products I used maybe two, three years ago because um, it's normal for your skin type to change over, over time. Obviously, as you get older, your environment changes, uh, hardness of water, all that kind of stuff. Um, so those are factors that kind of decide how your skin comes out. I do have to put a little disclaimer out there um, because uh, I know some people are going to be like, well, I've tried that product and it doesn't work for me, blah, 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 blah. My skin is different to every single person's skin out there. We might have similarities, but each individual's is different. And what works for me might not necessarily work for you. And the only advice I can give based on that is to go and try out things for yourself and figure out what works for you. And if you find something that works for you, I'd advise to stay with it, stay with it. I know it gets really uh, crazy when you start hearing about the miracle product that this person using or the miracle product in that magazine or this but to be honest trying out so many different things can kind of mess with the whole dynamic of your skin and um i can't stress the fact i can't stress this enough that you if you find something that works for you stick with it and that's what i've done so i'm going to share with you guys some of my holy grail skincare products and hopefully uh, yeah, you enjoy it. So my skin's actually combination oily. It used to be oily and then it changed to combination oily and Now that we're in the winter, I feel that my skin's gone a bit dry. So it does need that uh, extra moisture 
but my skin's mainly combination oily. And these are the products that I use that keeps my skin nice and soft, smooth, and moisturized. I'll start off with a cleanser, and this one's by Simple. It's called the Purifying Cleanser by uh, Simple. I love this, it's so nice, so gentle on my skin. I use it just to cleanse my skin in general, and also use it to take off makeup. So I'd put it in my hand, rub it, rub it into my skin, let the uh, product dissolve all the makeup, and then I'll grab some cotton pads, just any normal cotton pads from the drugstore and take off the makeup and then cleanse again just to actually cleanse. First time to take off makeup, second time to cleanse. And then I usually just follow um, using this soothing facial toner by Simple. I love this. This is so soft on my skin. It just cools everything down and makes everything so soft and smooth and um, takes, takes off any extra um, residue that's left behind by the cleanser. So these are like cleansing stuff. My facial washes, my daily facial washes, and I love this brand so much. It's Neutrogena, and I have two of these. I have the daily, 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 daily scrub. Couldn't say it there. The daily scrub, and this one's the cream wash. So I use them interchangeably depending on what I feel my skin needs. This one's more of an exfoliating one, so if I feel like my skin needs exfoliating, I grab this one. If I feel my skin um, feels normal and I just wanna wash my uh, skin, this, wash my skin, wash my face, I use this one, and it's just a cream wash, a uh, pink grapefruit range by Neutrogena. So my moisturizer is this one by Simple, and it's the Hydrating Kind of Skin Moisturizer. Um, they come in two types actually, there's the replenishing uh, rich moisturiser and the hydrating light moisturiser. I find that the rich one makes my skin look oily and um, I don't know why but this one just works so much better for me. The, the other one my sister uses and loves. Um, this one is perfect. I use this every day and I've been using it every day since I um, first discovered it three years ago. Nothing else has worked for me as well as this um, hi, there's a uh, moisturizer. I can't talk today, I really apologize. Um, yeah, so this is a really, really good moisturizer and I can't stress it enough. It's probably one of my holy grail products. Now for taking off my makeup, I either go with my cleanser. I cleanse twice, like I said before, and then I tone it with my cotton pads or I use wax. Now the wipes I like to use are these by Simple. For the Kind of Skin Facial Wipes, I love these. They're really gentle on my skin. It takes off the makeup and also leaves the skin really moisturized. I've used other wipes in the past that's left my skin feeling really dry and tight and I can't move my face. Um, <laughs> but this one doesn't do that. Keeps it really nice and moisturized and then um, I just apply my moisturizer afterwards. Another thing I'm going to be raving about is this. And it's the Kind to Skin Eye Makeup Remover Pads. Uh, sometimes I use uh, an eye makeup remover. This one's by Garnier. It's the fresh grape water one and a cotton pad. I love this one. I've talked about this in a previous video. It's really good. But then something I like even more is this one. The reason why I like this one is because it's so easy to use. I just take out the pad, I place it on my eyes for a while, and then it'll wipe off and it takes off all of the makeup, all of the mascara, waterproof mascara, everything, eyeliner, eyeshadow, even black eyeshadow, it takes off really nicely. And then leaves my skin feeling soft. Sometimes when I use the cotton pads and the um, eye makeup remover, I can feel the area feeling slightly irritated. But this one doesn't do that and I really love this. I think it's about four pounds, same price as the normal wipes. And it's something I probably really recommend for those of you who are looking for something easy to use but then also soft and it's going to be delicate around the eye area. This next thing is on the pricey side and when I say pricey, I say pricey. But then it's worth every penny. It's the Clarisonic and I have the Clarisonic Plus and I know there's two. There's a Mia which uh, is a smaller one which is just for the face, but the Clarisonic Plus is for the face and the body. I love this, and I use it maybe about twice or three times a week um, when I feel that my, my face needs exfoliating. I love it because it's soft on the skin, and after every time I use it, I just feel that my moisturizer just absorbs into my skin a lot more, and my face looks a lot radiant and glowy, and I really, really do recommend this. You can save up the pennies and buy it, or you can find a cheap alternative. I know that so many um, drugstores, the body shop, 
boots, uh, Superdrug do little face brushes, uh, which work equally as well. So you could just do the uh, motions yourself. You're working your arms as well, so that might work. But then I'm lazy. <laughs> so this does everything for me. It comes with a normal brush, like that. And then all I do is I put my product on it, like my uh, facial wash, and then I just turn it on. It has three speeds. The first speed is just a normal sensitive speed. The second speed is a normal speed and the third speed is for the body and I just you know take that around my skin and it just it's amazing this brush is the uh, body brush and this is the one I use on the third speed and I use it for my whole body to exfoliate my body and I use I love using it when I'm using my Vino body wash it just keeps my skin looking nice and soft gets rid of all the dead skin cells and any product that goes on it absorbs into the skin a lot more. Another body related item I wanted to share with you guys is this body butter by Body Shop. It's the Moringa uh, body butter and it smells absolutely divine. Uh, I have like two other flavours, two other scents, flavours, um, and I love them so so much so I just thought I'd share them with you guys. I'm going to use some though actually. My hands need some moisture. Okay, so that's it, a short video just explaining to you guys what I use on my skin. If you do have any questions, let me know, and if I can answer them, I would answer them. Um, let me know your thoughts, let me know what products you'd like to use, um, any of your skin dilemmas, because you heard about mine in the, in the beginning of the video. Let me know down below, and I will speak to you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching, have a lovely day, bye!